TRAC, TRAC, Transportation and Civil Engineering, a program working for America's future. Everyone traveling in America uses our system of roads and bridges. This vital transportation network depends on civil engineering, a profession with an uncertain future. We're going to have a lot of retirees here shortly, and there's not going to be enough folks to fill the bill. We can't even import engineers from other countries fast enough. Meanwhile, the demand is growing. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the nation will need 18% more civil engineers in the next eight years. The demand is being driven by population growth and the need to design, build, and preserve existing roads, bridges, and other public infrastructure. Adding new faces to the field of civil engineering is what Ashto's track program is all about. The five of us are going to take on all the students. Tate Jackson, a civil engineer himself, manages the program. Right now we're in 22 states. We're also in four provinces up in Canada. We're in Puerto Rico. So what do teachers get? They receive prepackaged lesson plans that include engineering software and supplies that enhance existing math, science, social studies, and technology classes. Students learn about green transportation, safety and bridge and highway design, and volunteer mentors like New Hampshire DOT civil engineer Michelle Marshall also visit the classroom. I think it makes a huge difference. The kids actually see that women can be involved with engineering and, and it's okay to be a woman in, in the engineering field. Mississippi's track program has gone statewide through the school system's eighth grade information, communication, and technology class. The hope here is to get students to see that the real world application of what they're studying, the mathematics, the English, the science, the technology, and how that's really used in the real world. And the track program also includes fun. 188. As students test their skills against one another, in the National Bridge Building Competition. We performed experiments to see the best um, position for our styrofoam block. When you have an arc, it pushes the forces outward to the towers of our bridge. It's made of balsa wood, this section right here, and this section is made of popsicle sticks and it has four dowel rods to help when we lift the bridge. That is, that is 48 ounces. The bridges take weeks to design and build, PowerPoint presentations must be given to a panel of judges, and the bridges are weighed, and if it's a floating bridge, it had better float. The bridges are also strength tested, and sometimes it's a little hard to watch. 24. Come on, mate. <laughs> That's it, 72 pounds. There's more than just bridges being built here. Self-confidence and pride also under construction. As we open our reception this evening, it is with extreme pleasure that we announce to you the winners of our annual track competition. Not everyone takes home the top prize, but there are no losers. The learning is real and the effect long lasting. Good job, guys. If you'd like to bring track to your school or if you'd just like to learn more about it, visit the track website at trac.net. Track, working for America's future. Track.